that takes us on quite nicely to talking about compliance. Obviously, an invoice is a legal document, and it is sometimes suggested, either fairly or unfairly, that trade shift model treats the invoice as a data file rather than an invoice. What do you say to this? <laughs> First, uh, I'm kind of really confused because uh, it puzzles me quite a bit if my competition don't treat an invoice as a data file as well. Um, I, I think that might be some of the challenges they then have on the pricing model if, if they're running some sort of paper internally. Um, and that's, of course, a joke. But the point is, uh, you know, all invoices are data. And my competition, they don't like to talk about this because it puts, you know, a very clear spotlight on the fact that right now we see some quite absurd prices being charged for data. So I really want to sort of separate the technical question from the compliance question. Um, you can be compliant, you know, transporting a, an invoice as um, XML, as a CSV file, as a data file, as any kind of data that, that really do not have anything to do with compliance. But this is, by the way, also what we hear in almost all the sales processes when the process starts to get a little bit heated and I think somebody feels pressured. These are the kind of questions that come up. And I think what's actually funny is, is how well this is working for us, and I think more than once, the bias, the prospective bias, has been really surprised by our answer here. And I think we, we are certified legally compliant in all the markets that our enterprise customers operate. And that's more than 50 currently. I mean, the team behind Treasure, we are part of writing some of the legislation in this area. So I think, you know, compliance runs in our blood. It's, it's not something we don't like to do. It's, in fact, something we love to do. But we think it's very bad when it's used as an excuse but I would suggest that my competitors also start treating invoices as data because that might help on the cost.